Good morning, my friend. I've just got Kendall's lunch here. Good morning, my friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Kat, it's nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm going to be eating and working out like Kendall Jenner. What's something about you that you wish more people focused on? My ass. If you're not too familiar with who Kendall is, first of all, what rock have you been living under? Kendall is an influencer, reality TV star. She was a Victoria's Secret model and she's also world's highest paid supermodel. I know there's some opinions on that, so I'll just leave that alone. Kendall is also widely regarded as body goals or health goals, and I just thought I'd try out her routine for a day and see, is it sustainable? How does she maintain that model physique? And is it worth it? I should probably start out by saying that if you've come to this video to try and find a diet or a workout routine to try and look like Kendall, that is not what we're here for. I'm just trying this out as a fun little experiment. You need to know that you're beautiful just the way you are. Kendall has undoubtedly had tons and tons of plastic surgery. She has a personal trainer, a nutritionist, and she is a supermodel. It is literally her full-time job to look good. Don't forget that Photoshop is also a thing, so don't believe everything you see on the internet, my friends. Without further ado, let's get into it. So Kendall likes to wake up bright and early at 6.30 a.m. and hit the gym with her personal trainer, Gunner, by seven o'clock. Now, I don't have a personal trainer, nor do I have a gym to go to, but I do have me, myself and I, a living room and at-home workouts, so that's what we're going to be working with today. According to my research, Kendall's workouts are heavily cardio-based and she also does lots of core exercises. I'm not usually one for cardio, the most I do is go on a walk or I'm a gymnast, so I suppose that counts as something. But I tried a low impact cardio workout for this video and I must say I was pleasantly surprised. Maybe it's just because it was low impact or maybe it's just because Madfit is great at making you love working out. But I think I might be doing it again sometime. In terms of the ab workout, I found Kendall's 11 minute ab workout, which she swears by, and I tried that. As someone who trains their core every single day, I wasn't actually expecting to feel much of a burn from this workout, but I, I was wrong. <laughs> the workout was mainly planks and I'm okay with that, but the fact that there were no rests in between the exercises was what really made this intense. Candle, we see why the apps are popping. In terms of at home workouts, I would consider myself quite advanced, seeing as I have been working out consistently every single day for over a year now. It might just be because it was something new and I usually do basically the same workouts on a daily basis. But I also found the workout pretty easy to follow along to, and I think it could be easily adapted to fit different fitness levels. Kendall's workout is definitely something that you could just do in the comfort of your own home, so I really appreciate that. Overall, I think I'll rate her workouts a 7 out of 10, and if you want to give them a try for yourself, I'll link the videos that I did in the description below and let me know how you get on. I'm just gonna have a shower now and then you can join Kat Kardashian for Kendall Jenner's breakfast. So Kendall likes to have eggs over avocado with a side of oatmeal for breakfast. A woman after my own taste. I've just got my overnight oats, which I make every day anyway, and an avocado. This might be weird to some people, but I don't actually like egg yolks, so I've just got egg whites, and I'm going to be making like an egg white omelette situation. I don't think this is something that Kendall would do, but it's something that Kat's going to do. I'm going to be putting a biscuit into my porridge. I mentioned this in my last video, and it genuinely is life-changing. Try it for yourself. This is the 
tea that I'm going to be having. Kendall likes to drink 12 cups of detox tea a day. I'm just going to be having one. This is a green tea with mango and moringa. I think I've showed it in one of my previous videos. It's my favorite tea ever. Green tea is known to have a detoxing effect as well. I'm just gonna be having one cup though because I think 12 is a bit overkill and I don't think that's very good for your body. And of course, I've been chugging plenty of water. Can I just say, I heard that you guys don't have kettles in America. Is this true? I, I must know. Let me know. Like, DM me on Instagram, at Cat the Cucumber. I, I need to know. How can you live without a kettle? How do you boil your water? I've just got my breakfast assembled in front of me, including my detox tea. As you saw, I put a bit too much pepper onto my egg white omelette thingy. And I'm going to try it with you. For the egg and avocado, it's literally just egg and avocado. I mean, I love avocados, I like eggs, you can't really go wrong with it, but I feel like it's, I don't know, missing bread, <laughs> to be completely honest. It's a bit bland, but it's edible, so I'll eat it. To be frank with you, when I'm hungry, I'll eat anything, so. As Kendall's a model, I thought it could be a fun little segment of this video for me to do some modelling of my own, and so I've decided I'm going to recreate a paparazzi picture of Kendall. I chose this picture of her where she's just wearing all black, walking down the street, flipping her hair, looking all fabulous and beautiful. I just thought this is one of the simpler photos of Kendall that I could recreate because I basically already have all the items that she's wearing. My outfit is definitely not exact, but I've just got this black jumper some black leggings and to add my own personal little flair i've got some meerkat socks instead of her boring gray ones i've also just got this printed tote bag pretty basic and the black face mask which she was wearing for these shoes i didn't have any slides but my mum kindly gave me these fabulous silver birkenstock shoes um i mean yes we're gonna be looking better than candle okay Once we had walked to our location of choice, I awkwardly changed into my fabulous foot attire in the middle of the street. Yes, there were lots of random people staring at me, but in that moment, I was Kat Kardashian, and so it didn't matter. And here's the final photo. It's not perfect, but I think we did a pretty good job recreating it. Kendall's lunch is pretty basic. It's exactly the same as what every other model says they have. Lean chicken, rice and veggies. Now, I'm vegetarian so I won't be having chicken but I'll be having corn pieces and some rice and some broccoli. That's just my corn vegan chicken. We call this waiting for the rice to finish microwaving. I'm getting a free steam spa treatment here. I've just got Kendall's lunch here. It's a bit late now for lunch, but you know what? It looks pretty good. It actually looks like something I would have. And I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you at snack time. That lunch was super quick and easy to make and it was actually really, really filling. So I can definitely see why Kendall incorporates this into her busy schedule. 
I mean, who am I kidding? She probably has a private chef who does it, but either way, it's really easy, really simple. So good on your candle. So as a snack, Kendall likes to have hummus with veggies. I'm actually quite a fan of hummus, so I've got a little hummus pot here portioned out already. And as my veggies of choice, I'm gonna have some bell pepper and a cucumber because obviously. I definitely am not a good cutter, so don't zoom in on me. <laughs> I'm not professional whatsoever. Hey chef, do you wanna cut this up for her? I'll do it, mom, it's fine. This is a really easy snack to make, so I'm actually just gonna make it myself. Usually I'd get my private chef to do it, but it's so simple, I'll just show you how I do it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't get how Kendall ever cut her cucumber like that. Like, it's really inconvenient. <laughs> I don't understand how she just naturally went to doing that. Oh no! No! I got bell pepper on my white fleece. The realities of filming whilst cooking. So this is my Kendall Jenner snack. I definitely went a bit overboard with the veggies, but you know, we love it. We love the greens, so that's fine. I tried to make it look aesthetic. This is my best attempt. Let's try the Kendall Jenner snack. Got my hummus here, bit of cucumber. I don't think you can go wrong with hummus and veggies. Anyways, my dudes, I'm gonna have my snack now and I'll see you guys later at dinner time. So it's a lot later now, as you can see by the window, it's basically night time and I'm about ready for dinner. For dinner, Kendall apparently likes to go out a lot and one of her favourite things to get is pizza and I was not about to miss out on making pizza. I'm going to be making a homemade pizza, I'm going to try and make an egg white protein pizza from scratch, so we'll see how that turns out. Don't forget to eat your ingredients while cooking. I've just got my basil ready here as well because I'm fancy like that. We actually have a basil plant in our kitchen, which I can show you today because it's not dead. It usually is. I have to say that honestly now. <laughs> Look at her. She's thriving. It's New York Fashion Week, looking for any new styles because I've just got an absolute winner here. Basil hair decor, oop. Oh, she's done, she's done. Oh my God, guys, ah, she's done. <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat it off the baking sheet because it's not coming off, but it looks amazing. It tastes amazing, I promise you. Try the recipe for yourselves and let me know how your guys' pizzas come out. I'd love to see them. This is the best thing I've eaten all week. Thank you so much, Kendall. I'm gonna finish this and then I'll see you guys at dessert. I just finished my pizza, but I've got a little bit of a sweet tooth right now, and luckily for me, Kendall Jenner also has a big sweet tooth, and she likes to get frozen yogurt. Unfortunately, I don't have a place to go to get frozen yogurt, but I found a recipe online for instant froyo, and we're going to be trying that. Okay, so this is what we're working with. I've got some Greek yogurt, some almond milk, blueberries, and strawberries, and we're going to blend it up and see how our frozen yogurt comes out. 
So this is how our frozen yogurt turned out. It looks so good, I'm really excited. Let's try this. That is so nice. Oh my god, okay. It just tastes like a smoothie bowl, but like more yogurty. I guess. But it's frozen yogurt. I don't know what else I should tell you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat this and yeah, that's it for my Kendall day. So that's the end of my eating and working out like Kendall day. Overall, I really enjoyed the workouts, the food was pretty good, and I think it's quite a malleable routine in terms of exercise and diet that you can adapt to your preferences. If you want to try experimenting with adding some of Kendall's habits into your own lifestyle, definitely go for it, but don't feel obliged to. The exercise that you do is there to make you feel good and to make you feel at your healthiest, and we all need a unique amount of fuel to nourish our bodies. Please do not feel obliged to eat or exercise like anybody else. Do what makes you happy! Having said that, my dudes, that's it for today's video. This video is definitely something different from my usual viewers, but apart from the 10 hours I've spent editing, I really enjoyed filming this, so let me know over on my Instagram if there's anybody else's routines you want me to try out. And as always, my dudes, keep doing what makes you smile, stay classy, and stay cool. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I still have bell pepper on my jumper. It's not coming out.